How we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K screen paint using ambient light projection. Technology gain times four and five. Now, coated on our surface over here is our Illuminous Superior Ambient Light Rejection screen paint. A lot of people have been asking me about how many different surfaces you can paint it on. You can paint this on anything you want or roll it on anything you want. It can be sprayed or roll, it's up to you. Now, the difference between the spray and the roll is that a spray on he uses Ambient Light Rejection Technology times five. It has the ability to be used outside because it produces a brighter image. It has the ability to produce an image outside between 8, 9, 12, and so forth. Um, also, too, if you spray it on plexiglass, you get front and rear. Now, if you're using a roll-on, a roll-on has the ambient light rejection technology gain times four. Also, too, to bring it back a little bit, when you're applying, if you're gonna apply this on a front projection, go with the roll-on, because if you're gonna be doing it for front projection, because the screen paint for the spray on is a kind of invisible form of technology. If you spray this on plexiglass, it does take multiple layers to turn it jet black, which this was done uh, to make it easier for our customers to be able to adjust the tone on how dark they want the screen. Some people don't want it jet black. So with that being said, if you were to spray this on a white screen, it was just front, it would take multiple coats to do it to turn it black. So that's why we have the roll on, because roll on will allow you to be able to just roll over the screen and you're done. If you're doing this, with the spray on, you have to paint the surface black first and then coat over it, all right? So that was the, that's the two options in there. Now the five, basically if you're using it outside, has to be used and the hours of 500, sorry about 500 o'clock, that's kind of insane, isn't it? Uh, five o'clock and six o'clock, keep in mind both screen paints outside require projectors of 3,500 lumens and up. Now, let's talk about a few things here. We have a company called K&A. A lot of people understand what K&A stands for. It's my first initial and my business partner's first initial. And we're going to be having these, well actually we've been selling quite a few of these projectors. We have projectors that come with everything. They come with the screen, they come with the screen paint, and it comes with the projector giving you the ability to basically have the best of both worlds, especially with that superior that basically has the ability to produce white and black levels at the same time. So these are projectors that we use, we test, we show you the demonstrations on how fantastic it looks on our technology and when you get it home it's going to look fantastic not only that you can take it outside if you want so the blackout cloth that we're now going to actually the screen paintable screen that we're going to now include in the kits is a screen that comes with built-in grommets several ways you can use this now if you're using this for indoor all you would have to do if you want you can iron the back of her iron it out front or back doesn't make a difference before you paint it and you can cut off the borders where the grommets are at and staple it down to a frame that's the way you can do it if you're gonna be doing it indoor. If you're gonna be doing it outdoor, I'm gonna show you in a few minutes on exactly how to build a $12, 10 to $12 uh, tension frame that's not going to cost you a lot of money. You don't have to use a lot of heavy PVC. There's not a lot of drilling into the PVC uh, to be able to run cables or bungee cables to, to connect this uh, to your screen. Now, we have the projectors we have right now on the website. Um, we had an Epson short throw. It's sold. Now we have another Epson short throw that's loaded onto the website. It does come with a 200 inch surface. It comes with a gallon of our superior screen paint roll on a spray. It's up to use a free option in there for that. For those of you that are interested in the Panasonic, this one sold. We just posted this one. It's not fast ago. We just posted this on Saturday and launched it. It's sold already. It's the 4,000 lumen uh, Panasonic, which is gone. The next one we have over here is the 3,000 lumens. This is a WXGA projector. It, it looks, I'll show you the demonstration. It looks absolutely fantastic on our screen paint. Also, too, I'll show you some demonstrations of us using the screen paint outside. So this one right here is gonna be posted today, probably around eight or nine o'clock. It'll be available on the website. Also too on the website, we do have a short throw Epson projector that is also available and it does come with a 200 inch screen. Now coming in also to another uh, Panasonic that's coming in. Also too, we have a 5,000 lumen NEC coming through. Oh, that's gonna be beautiful. And it's gonna come with a 200 inch screen paintable 200 inch screen. All right, so let's pop over here real quick and let's show you what we got here. Now, like I said, a lot of people when they build tension frames for outside for screens that have grommets, um, one of the things they build them out is PVC. PVC can be heavy, 
Uh, PVC takes a lot of drilling and cutting to get it to size all the way around. Some people just connect it like a pipe system. There's no different ways you can do it. But this is the fastest way, I guarantee you, and the most affordable way how you can utilize this kit to make an outdoor screen. Now, this is one that I built myself. My screen here is about 84 inches. I'll show you how this was built. I'm gonna remove this right now. So, instead of me going out and spending the money for a PVC, or P get PVC to piping, which I could have done very easily, I decided to build a screen this way. Like I said, God is amazing. God will give you incredible ideas if you just listen. He has amazing ideas. And this came to me last night. Um, just popped into my head. And I went and got the wood today. And voila. You know, God's amazing. All right. So this right here is made out of four pieces of wood. So the same way as you would design a fixed frame screen. Um, to wrap material around this one's actually a little different. So what you do is you lay your screen down Or measure it and you build it bigger Than the screen itself So it fits inside the screen leave a little room in there because you want enough room so you can pull that tension You can pull on the uh, uh, Strings or whatever way you're going to tie this in. I just use string string works much better now how the frame is built it has brackets here and then if you go and look inside over here, there's brackets in the inside. Because brackets on the inside allows me to just staple the frame on the opposite side. In case you don't do all brackets, you can actually just staple the frame on the other side. So there's my brackets right there. Inside, L brackets here. You repeat this same process all the way around the frame. Now, once that's done, on the opposite side of my frame, I'm going to show you how it's attached. I have it stapled. So there are staples here and that staples at the top, right there. All right, now, all you gotta do, these are the screws I use right here. They don't gotta be big screws. These are the screws I use right here. A little screw and some string. And all I did was basically tie my string here. I can get trim this off later on. I'll get a tongue trimmer to just a rough design. So I tie my strings here, and then I take a screw and I put it on each end. Now, don't tie this yet, put the screw here, here, oh sorry, here, here, here. Put the screw anywhere you have holes in the grommets. Anywhere there's grommets in the screen, well, holes in the grommets, of course there's holes in the grommets. Anywhere in the screen you see a hole, that's where you put a screw next to. Then what you do is you take your string and you start here, and you start there, keep it loose, don't tighten it. Then you put it here, you're starting to tighten up a little bit more here, and then when you get to the far end over here, you tighten it up. All the way around, same process, tighten around. And then, when that's done, then you just do, for my end, this is what I did. I started with here, the bottom piece, to the top piece, and then from here to here. And that's it. That's how I built my frame. To accommodate my tension projection screen. And very easy to build. You stick your sound bar behind the back of it, and you're in business. That's all you got to do. Now, for those of you worrying about how to, woo, it's going to fall over for a minute. And I caught it just before it fell. For those of you that are thinking like, okay, so if I want to weight it, I'm weight it down a little bit, there's also two away. You can weight down your screen. I'll show you that in a few minutes once I get this propped up better so it doesn't fall over. All right, so there's also another way how you can weight down your screen. If I bought them upstairs, which I don't think I did. Okay, so let me show you. See these screws right here? These loop screws right here, right there. All right, so all you have to do is put a screw here, 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 and here. Four or five. Take a piece of string, run it through, right? And then you put a sandbag here and a sandbag there. Or, if you want, take your piece of wood. You can lay it flat on top, like so. Or like so, there you go. And then you put your holes in here, here, here. Drill small, put screws in here. You don't have to use nails, but put screws in here to keep this fastened down. And so the so it lays flat, and it doesn't roll over the side. You put your screws in from the top, the loop screws, and then that way on the end, bring it over a little neater, right this way. All right, you can have the rope hang down with the sandbags. It's up to you on how you want to do it. But that's all you need right here. These wood strips, I got them for two bucks each, two bucks each, 
and then I got some little string and then I got my uh, screws and that's it and that's how I built my frame and now that's coated right there with our superior now keep in mind you can roll this on or spray it on it's up to you I would advise you basically you could spray it on or roll it on before you attach it to the frame in other situations it's not really going to make a difference whatsoever so let me see if I can find me something else besides fishies oh, just turn my camera off I'm going to turn my phone off there we go, get back into this. And I think my sound bar is connected in the back. I don't know if it's running through Bluetooth. Ouch, just stepped on a screw. That's one of the biggest problems I have. Putting stuff up so I don't step on it later on, because I always do. There we go. So my biggest issue is stepping on screws. I don't know what's worse, stepping on screws or stepping on army men. All right, there we go. Now, when I paint over my screen, I just use the roller and just, I just rolled, this was actually rolled on. This was not sprayed on, it's actually rolled onto the material. Um, I just wrote on everything, wrote over everything, not wrote on, but wrote over everything. I wrote over the borders, everything, just painted over the whole thing. Some people, if you want to decide to tape it off, it doesn't make a difference because the screen paint is black. So it doesn't make a difference. You're going to have a border, you're not going to have a border there at all because screen paint can pretty much just paint over anything that's black. I don't know why that video is acting up. Let's just say it looked kind of, looked kind of blocky there for a minute. That is our superior technology right there. Now, I've never ever ran an iron to the back of the screen. I haven't. I just basically just stretched it out. That's basically about it. And this is also fantastic if you're going to be using this inside too. So, like I said, some people might not want to basically... Um, um, uh, cut the material they might just want to hang it up on the wall with the grommets so you can just build the frame and the frame like I said between 10 and 12 bucks it's all it's going to cost you and this is sprayed with our superior technology so I rolled on with our superior technology that's my projector as always said my projector always sits somewhere in the range of 10 to 12 feet I'm just show you the angle gain very easy screen to build or frame to build and the screen paint is fully weatherproof so keep in mind you get an amazing picture you get amazing ambient light rejection technology you can take the screen outside if you want it's up to you then consider the fact you're getting a 140 inch screen plus projector some places out there would charge you for the price that we're charging for this setup way over the amount. And on top of that, I will show you exactly how to build a tension frame that will cost you 10 to 12 bucks. Now, the price may jump a little bit if you're building a bigger frame. Say if you're building the frame to 120 inch or if you're building the frame to 150 inch then you're going to have to use some uh i would suggest you using thicker forms of wood if you're going to be using anything in the range of probably i say uh i say four inches i would go with four inches and the, and, and the wood size the thickness of the wood i would go with four inches because consider the fact the bigger the frame the more it's going to move back and forth the more it's going to have more give to it so if you're building a hundred inch you want to bite want to put one little rail in the back of it so when you pull down on the frame you don't get a u inside of it, like a u um if you decide that you're going to build 130 inch or 140 inch i would put two in the middle Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm Kenneth Burr from Illuminus 4K Screen Paint using ambient light rejection, technology gain times 4 and 5. Showing you better ways how to utilize our screen paint to get the most from your home theater setup. 
indoor or out. Uh, just let you know that the Panasonic projector is gone. It's sold yesterday. We just posted that projector yesterday and it's sold that quick. They go really fast. So projectors that are available on the website right now, we have the Epson short throw projector that comes with a 200 inch screen. It comes with one gallon of the screen paint. Also too, coming in soon, we have another Panasonic projector. This projector also is another Panasonic. Actually, we have a 4,000 lumen projector coming in. That's Panasonic. And this projector right here is 3,000 lumens. That's actually gonna be posted onto the site later on today, probably later around 10 o'clock tonight. Um, also too, we have that big boy projector coming in, that 5,000 lumens that projector is going to come with a 200 inch screen so it's going to be fantastic for church events outdoor events whatever you want to do with it it's 5,000 lumens it's going to look absolutely incredible on this technology As I said before, brightest white levels on a black screen paint. All right, gotta go. Thank you all and God bless.